Hello YouTube, Oberon Blade here, and this is Agricultural Simulator 2013. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you all for <coughs> all the comments you've given me and suggestions on um, how to sort out the crappy crop uh, yield that I get. And uh, <coughs> one of the uh, suggestions was, um, well, I guess it would be considered kind of extreme, but basically was to reinstall the game or delete the game, uninstall it and then reinstall it again. Um, I will I will try actually to do a uh, new game, uh, not reinstall or anything like that, just to see if it works. Uh, also replowing the field and all that. But I figure I start with actually um, just starting a new game. So what I'm doing at the moment is um, <coughs> I've always had issues with my um, pigs, and first, also I apologize for all the sound animal sounds that you get here. Um, I figure you may want to see this. Um, so anyway, I started a new game, and the first thing I bought was the small animal trailer as well as the pickup truck. That's the only vehicles I bought so far. I have been given a suggestion about buying an MF2477. Um, I think that's a tractor. So um, I will do that. I will also get a bigger plow. Don't be such a... Can you get inside? No? Um, there we go. So we'll give that a try. And apologize for the noises the animal make. There. I think four is about the limit I can take away at this time. Um, so I just drive off and sell these critters. Never done it before, don't know how to do it. But I know where you buy them, so I figure you sell them at the same place. Um, there is trailers, uh, animal trailers for all animals. There's one small, tall one for horses, and then there's a big one that just says coming soon. Uh, I don't know if it works, but that would be for your cows, I believe. Um, but uh, I'll just sell these four animals here, uh, then I will clear out um, the others, the, the cows and the bull and the horse do make a lot of noise um, while out on pasture, but not as much when they're in the barn. So I will put them in the barn and, and basically all I want from them is manure that's the only thing I want. So I will only feed them grass and uh, stray uh, straw, sorry, straw or hay bales. Um, someone suggested I'll buy an animal trailer. Um, so here I am. I bought an animal trailer. Uh, I, I was a bit um, disappointed <laughs> as you may have noticed in my last episode. Um, about the, the general direction of the game and, you know, the, the issues I had with uh, everything, basically. Um, but because of you and, and your suggestions and, and you wanting me to keep playing, um, I, I will not give up on the game. I will do, you know, I will follow your advice. And uh, But before I go to the extreme and, and actually reinstall the game from scratch, um, I will try to just start a new game, um, plow a new field, and I, I will use the speeds uh, suggested that plow and cultivating would be tempo mat 1, and then for tempo mat 2, everything except basically um, uh, the harvesting part. So, you know, seeding, um, fertilizing, oh, there's more, spraying. Uh, 
I wonder if I need to park in there or I can just like piff Okay, I got 736,000. We lower this part back here. I think. Open this door. And we grab the sheep. And the door closed. Stupid door. Come on, sheep, where did you go? Oh, there you are. I am very sorry about these sounds. No. Yeah, this is going to be your new home. There, 96 and tre sheep trade. Uh, not much, even though the sheep was worth more. There we go. But now we know how to uh, get rid of undesirable animals. Why are you keep closing the gate? I just freaking open you. Now where am I pig? Come here, piglet. Um There we go. Yeah, go over there. Next. Hundred and sixty for the pig. That's nice. Stop closing the gate. Hey you. 200. So you don't even get what it's worth, huh? The pig is worth 200. needed animals, how would they do this with all the animals? Because I really don't like their noises. Let's see, seven three six seven five seven six. okay. But hey, we got rid of some noisy animals. Um, and we are returning home. So, uh, yeah. I will pause the recording here, and when I'm back, which for you would only be a short, short while, um, I will be doing the plowing of the field, the new field. Uh, figure I make a big field this time, uh, and I get a bigger plow. So uh, see you shortly. Welcome back, everybody. Um, <coughs> so I put the rest of the animals in the barn. Uh, I, I didn't bother with the chicken and I gave them uh, four bales each and four bags of corn and this is the MF7499 uh, Massey Ferguson and this is the biggest freaking plow that I could find and my field is this one here it's 6511 meters in size and um, yeah I'm gonna start plowing so, um, 
Let's see how we do this. Still don't like the trees, but uh, what can you do? Uh, rotate left. So this, uh, I tried this out before. Um, so it's a big plow, and I think I lined up properly. And we go at tempo mat one. It's going to be a long, slow process, of course. Um, but you know, I guess if it means that I actually get something on the entire field, um, that would be good, right? There's the those markers are a bit tricky to find, but hopefully I will be able to plow this and plow this entire field. I will not do all of it online, of course, uh, or you know, record it um, because that would be too boring for you. But <coughs> I, I do one large field, um, and I, I will not buy uh, equipment that I don't need. Um, I bought a trailer so I could, you know, transport um, the sacks of uh, corn to the barn for the animals. Uh, I could have bought the small historical one, but nah, I bought a bigger one. I think it was, I don't remember the price, but never mind. I bought that because I felt that, you know, it was an investment needed. And um, also if you know, at some point in the future they are actually making it so selling milk and egg would be worth it. Well, I don't want to, you know, travel around with milk jugs, but it would be great if there was someone coming to your farm to pick it up instead of you driving to the market and dropping it off. Um, well, we'll see. Um, so, yeah. And I think that I can afford a baler. I'm not sure. Um, I will wait until the end. Uh, there we go. And then we press T again. This is the tricky part about this one is that you cannot really drive until it's done with its movement because that would cause disruptive disruptions in the force. Well, not really, but it, it, it will make marks in the ground. Oh, get rid of those trees. And now we're going to line up with this one. Um, boom, boom, boom. Um, I guess I could call this uh, season two, but I won't do that. Let's see. Okay, now I don't see the field. Oh, there is the marker, right? There. So we see if we can line up. I can see the red dot there. Is that the marker? Where the dot is. Yeah, it looks like it. There we go. <coughs> um, yeah. So one big field just to see how it goes and um, yeah hopefully it work, works out well I haven't been on the forum for a few days uh, because usually there is not much happening there um, so I don't really know when the next patch is out um, I don't visit the German forums because I do not speak German uh, and I hardly understand any German words. I understand a few, but not enough to even, you know, make a sentence or carry a conversation or anything like that. Um, so for me to read the German forums wouldn't be useful and, you know, I'm just not in the mood to do a uh, translation of what it said. So I just visit the English forums. Uh, not much information there, as far as I know. So as I said, I haven't been there in a few days. But um, hopefully this field will turn out awesome, so I can get a lot of stuff. Uh, someone uh, commented it, that I was harvesting the corn too soon. It, it was supposed to be yellow, so both times that I harvested, in episode 6 and episode 10, I think it was, um, 
I actually harvested it too early. Um, so, uh, but still, I felt I got more uh, for the corn in episode six than I got in episode ten. But yeah, what can you do? So we run over the pole here. I guess this is the west pole. I don't know which pole it is. And we stop there. Do the blom 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 blom. This one is supposed to plow in a 2.8 meter um, section. It looks like it will plow more than, you know, bigger area than it actually does. Um, but I think 2.6 could be 2.8. However, it's still better than the, the small one that I had. Um, it means that I don't really have to drive into the furrows that I made previously because it is wide enough. Okay, let's see. There we go. To get in there by itself without me having to drive in there. And that's good. And the plow is down. So we just drive next to it, like so. Um, as I said, I will not do all of this on camera. Uh, I don't know how long I've been recording since I took, uh, since I paused it before. I actually also, before I did uh, much, uh, I put away the animals. I gave them the the corn. Um, I bought the tractor. Uh, I bought the plow and I marked out the field, then I saved the game. Um, because I can still delete the field if it turns out that you know I wanna or need to restart again in the future. I, I will not turn this into season 3 because uh, I figure I do that if and when um, uh, well maybe not when but if not, well maybe not if I'm sorry. Let's me start over. I will not make this season 3 because I, w I will save that for when they do an update that is such that I have to restart, uh, that there is no other choice. And maybe when they introduced uh, some more stuff to the farm. Um, so uh, I will continue this as Season 2 even though it is in, in fact a, a new save game. But, you know, it's just keep that under wraps, you know, it's between you and me. Um, so, yeah, that's what we'll be doing. I'll do this row, and I'll do the second row on the other side as well. Um, and then I will end this episode, um, I think. There is um, <laughs> not really that much to talk about at this time. Um, but, again, you know, all I can say is that I really appreciate all the help that you've given me. You know, all your suggestions, um, tips, tricks, everything like that. You know, it's it's. I, I really appreciate it. Um, I do not mention you by name here. Uh, <laughs> maybe I should. Um, uh, for that to happen, I, I had to write down your name <coughs> and uh, read. Oops, sorry. I mean, I can read. It's it's not that. It's just that. Yeah. Um, maybe I shouldn't go meh, but well, you know me, a little bit. I'm here to play games, and um, some of you have commented or mentioned, you know, speaking of games, that you will also be playing Sim City. Um, that's great, you know, maybe we can, you know, play in the same uh, region or something uh, at some point, that would be nice. Um, I don't recall, but I think you can be up to like 10 people in a region or anything like that. And that is, is very nice, um, unless, you know, someone is bothering you, but, you know, they, they, they have put in, you know, things in the game 
to make griefing a little bit difficult. Uh, for example, if someone were to grief you by creating a criminal city and the criminal elements spill over to you, yeah, play, plop down a few f uh, the police stations, upgrade them, uh, and you cover the entire region with police forces, and that would grief them. Uh, of course, on the other hand, if someone wants to have a criminal city, then I guess you would be griefing them by providing police. Um, so, shame on you. Um, but, you know, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, just wish there were some modding tools, uh, especially ability to mod the terrains and the size, maybe, of the cities that you can play in. Uh, I have not been able to play it myself. I was hoping to get into beta, but I didn't. And you know, the game is released next week, so really no uh, bother to uh, um, Ooh, this is very nice. I'm not really bothered that much about not being in the beta. I mean, I am a little bit, but you know, come on. I play nice by myself and with others. But I guess no Oh, not that button, that button. So, yeah, that's four rows. And I have a bunch more to go. But this tractor is strong. And as I said, well, maybe I didn't say, but the reason why I bought the smaller equipment before was twofold. It was partly because of the, the money that you, the money, the money, no, the money that you had. It was limited, it was like half a million euros. Quite a lot of money, but considering that some machines cost a lot, it wasn't that much money. So, oops, not supposed to drive in there. Um, so, um, <coughs> that was one of the reasons. Uh, the other reasons was that since you cannot attach a front weight to your tractors, uh, if if you had too big of stuff on it, you know the front wheels wouldn't really. It it would be back heavy, so the front wheels would not touch down, and as a result, it would make it very difficult to turn and such, and that would be just frustrated for its own own reasons. But um, I have a good feeling about this save so far because the field looks nice, and I'm seem to be quite good at plowing. Um, but again, I will not do all of this on the camera. Um, I will finish this off off camera, and in the next episode, uh, I will be um, I will probably cultivate off camera as well. And then in the next episode, uh, well, I might fi finish off the plow the cultivating on camera again at temp mat one, and and get started on the plowing uh, planting. Wait. Wait, I should probably fertilize at this point, or should I have fertilized before I plowed? Oh, I keep forgetting. Someone mentioned it to me. Yeah, I'll see what I do. But, um, yeah, I, I guess I'd end the episode here. So, um, I'm Oberon Blade. This is Agricultural Simulator 2013. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.